So when the Volition album cycle ended, um, we couldn't really tour it anymore. Um, that's how album cycles work. Like when they're done, they're kind of done. And so we were looking for a new way to release music without having to do the full album again. We are planning to write a full album, but we wanted to do something that we could get out uh, much quicker. And we've always been kicking around this idea of a subscription song service because we thought about if our favorite bands were to do something like that, where a song were to show up on a certain day of the month at the same time, how cool would that be to wake up and have your favorite bands or one of your favorite bands' songs in your inbox you've never heard it before and all of a sudden it's there. And we found that avenue with Bandcamp who um, had their uh, subscription service in beta for quite a long time and just so happened to... um, make it public right when we were about getting ready to launch this idea. We kind of based it on the idea that when you do a full length album, the songs, the transitions, the whole package, everything you overthink, we tend to, which is cool. You get this product that's polished to shit and um, it comes out and that's the way it is. But with these songs, they're not, I don't want to say they're not as thought out because we put a lot of time into them, but we haven't refined and refined and refined. We've gone with what we want to do right now and we're releasing it more or less right now so it's more of a real-time look at this is what we like now and in a month it might not be the same but this is what you're going to get so um we're kind of looking at at it as a digital ep but it's just released in bursts rather than all at once um it's not i don't know if it's revolutionary or anything like that but it's it's kind of something that we want other bands to do so we're going to try to set a trend and then hopefully our favorite bands might try something like this so that we can enjoy it. This, so yeah, what we're hearing in the background is, this is how real time we're doing it. So what's the date today? It's November, November 24th. We are continuing our Kazaya tour, our 10-year anniversary Kazaya tour, on Thursday. So on our off days, in between these weekend warrior Kazaya tour stuff that we have, we're recording songs. We have two out. It started October 15th. We released our November 15th song when we were in Vancouver playing a show. And December 15th is coming up right as this tour ends, but we know we're not going to have time when the tour ends to record his vocals, so we're doing them right now. So we won't get a mix of this song probably until December 10th. Then we'll have to do some very quick changes, um, add any overdubs that we want um, or that we have time to do, and release on the 15th. So it's like it really is like a real time. This this, this is some of the first lyrics that I've heard, um, some of the first melodies that we've heard for the song. So it's like it all comes together so quick. So it's exciting for us. It's been exciting, I think, for some of our core fans, and we're hoping that more people jump on. Well, this is, yeah, it's more pressure on us in a good way. We can't miss the 15th deadline. It's like the song is what it is when the 15th comes, and we have to release it, because that's what we said we were going to do with a, a normal album. You could push say oh our vinyl records aren't going to be ready in time we'll push the release date or this song is going to come off the album whatever it's like what we have on the 15th is what you hear so it's it's scary for us but it's exciting so yeah just gonna do the same part over and over again picking out the bones that came to rest on the ocean bed for tier one 12 bucks you get a song a month and then you get everything we post in the subscriber area that's not limited to tier one or tier two it's just everybody gets it tier two the only difference is you get at what has become an amazing mini doc series that's going to be six episodes of about 20 to 25 minutes and it covers the making of volition which most people know who are fans that we did it a different way we crowdfunded the album a lot of changes happened with the band it all turned out pretty good for us but there was a lot of kind of rocky moments along the way and it's just a really in-depth look and more of a serious take on like our career we normally put the joking atmosphere out there and we kind of put the our egos aside and just decided to talk honestly about the stuff that was going on with us so 
for a true like a real super fan it's a it's a really cool look into how we made that album because it was so different for us in the eye are left hanging in moments that swings by the neck to and fro I should by the dark that there's one way to go but if you're looking to hear the, the cutting edge of what is protest the hero then it's it's for you one more time <laughs> moments it swings by its neck to and fro I should by the light that there's one way to go what we're trying to do is um, have a direct connection with our fans and allow our fans to have a direct connection with us and know that the money that they're putting towards their subscription, uh, which we think is very modest, is going directly to us. And what's even cooler, and we'll see as we get into writing like the back half, the last three songs, we can see the comments of the subscribers in our subscriber-only area and see what they like, what they don't like. And we can almost start to tailor the last three songs moving in the direction of what people are kind of after. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to do what we really want. But it is cool to see that and address what people liked and didn't like in the previous songs in almost real time. Leave the high guys for on the chorus. Tim and I were talking earlier and it's it's interesting how small a fraction of your fan base that will come along with you on this subscription ride will fund the entire subscription and then also put money kind of in our pockets, in our bank accounts to continue doing what we're doing. And uh, we're able to fund these songs, the studios we're recording at, the personnel who are recording them, and uh, we're able to uh, kind of pay our monthly salaries at the same time. So it's been really nice. We're not going to be driving Lamborghinis anytime soon, but we're going to be able to put food in our bellies. Or again, as first thing in the morning. It's more just to, uh, we like the idea of it to, to stir the pot a little and to shake it up more for ourselves. We're glad that people are coming along and buying in a little bit and, or even just experimenting, checking it out. Um, but yeah, it's more to just change it up because we've done the, the full length album four times in a row with spanning 10 years plus of our career and wouldn't change a thing. Um, but yeah, at, it just came out of time. It's like, let's try something new. It doesn't mean it's how we're going to release music from from now on or anything. We will do another full length, I hope. Uh, but it's just what we want to do now. We don't have labels to tell us that we can't. So we're doing it. 